This is how it is done today. Take a pinch of your love handle, then take a needle to your other hand and stitch the needle through your skin. Can you imagine or do you know how it feels? It hurts. 8.5% of world population is suffering diabetes, and the number is increasing. This means that big part of us is injecting insulin every day. The good news is that we have insulin. Insulin is a peptide hormone, and peptides are very good drugs with low toxicity, but they degrade in stomach which means that we cannot take them as a pill, but we need these old-fashioned injections. Skin consists of several layers, and in order to penetrate them all, we need quite a long needle. This needle is hitting the nerves and causing the pain, and the pain decreases people's willingness to take the medicine. So we don't want to change the drug but maybe we can change the way to deliver it. And my idea is to use porous silicon nanoneedles. These nanoneedles would penetrate only the outermost layer of the skin, which actually is the most effective barrier, but they do not cause pain. They would be porous so that we can load the drug inside the needle before the use. An actual use would be as simple as applying a plaster. In addition, we are using silicon, which means, sorry, which means that we can have an electrical control to the system. And maybe in future we can have the sensing also in the, to the same device. I have research plan ready. In the University of Turku, we have excellent and unique facilities for making porous biomaterials. In addition, we know how, how the surface charge affects the peptide loading and release. I have already contacted a collaborator in London, and he is very willing to help me with this project. I would love to go there to make these needles, because they have top-notch microfabrication facilities, and they can help me to test these needles in the living system. So I want to take the pain away from peptide injections. I have everything ready, and in order to show that this can work, only the funding is needed. So what if, instead of long needle, we had this? Thank you. Thank you, Marti. That was awesome. <laughs> Perfect. So just before we go over to the judges, uh, we just want to remind the audience, actually, the judging criteria they're really looking for here. So, for the Scholar Award, they're looking for the most novel, scientifically ambitious, and society-relevant ideas. And, of course, how well they've pitched and communicated here today. So, over to the judges. Yeah. Guys, please ask questions. Mari. Thank you, Marti, very much for the good presentation. I would like to ask that how, how are the IPRs of, of these needles, then, if you have collaborator in, in London? So have you been thinking that how to protect this? Uh, yes, yes, we've been thinking about it a little bit. And, and in, in London, they have, uh, they have some, some uh, IP rights pr processes going on, but we are not quite there yet. So, so we need to study it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. and Meanwhile, do the IP, IPR pro processing also. Great. Then, Vince, you have a question. Uh, no, no, go ahead. No, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I was wondering how is the drug loaded on these needles and whether or not you are thinking about the storage place for the drug in the uh, silicon micro needles? I mean, how do you load the drug there? Uh, so, so, so the idea, yes, the, the idea there is that. Uh, there is a film, we can make porous film on below those needles also, so we can load the truck there. And there is a lot of porous volume, so, so empty volume basically inside those needles what we can use. And we just, we just put the, from the solution, we put the peptide inside the needles. 
So I actually had um, a quite similar question. We actually invested in a company out of Water University of Waterloo that's commercializing uh, micro needles, and I think I'm not sure if it's if, what what did, where the true difference is actually that's using. Um, patches for um, um, testing biomarkers from the interstitial fluid in the skin. So I understand the kind of the taking out something from the skin just because of the physics of it, right? Because of the capillary. But I, I, I guess I don't understand like how you push something in there because of, you know, the, how you put something in the blood, like how you actually put the, um, does, does it make sense? How, um, and also, second question. I will just use my time. Uh, Ella, Ella, we have to go. Okay, we have to move on. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, but we can we can talk later if. Okay, you. of course. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.